Now let's break down why each one of these four aspects, which we attribute to water's propensity to form hydrogen bonds, let's dive into why these are each so important. Let's start with talking about water sticking to things. Have you ever wondered how water climbs up a paper towel if you dip it in water? Or maybe you've wondered how the tops of trees can get water all the way up there, even though the water started all the way down at their roots. And this is despite the forces of gravity working to pull the water downward. Well, it's all thanks to the sticky property of water, which is attributed to the hydrogen bonds that water can form. Water is considered quote unquote sticky thanks to the forces of cohesion and adhesion. Cohesion refers to the attraction of molecules for other molecules of the same kind. So in this case, that would be water molecules attracted to other water molecules. You can think of it as remembering that the prefix co often means together. So water molecules bonded together is cohesion. Adhesion, on the other hand, refers to the attraction of molecules for other molecules of a different kind. Adhesion is called this because it's referring to things that are adhering to something else. So in this case, that would be water molecules attracted to other substances. And if those substances happen to be polar or have a positive or negative charge to them, then water will cling to those substances really strongly. Fun fact, glass is actually an incredibly polar substance. So if we were to have a glass beaker that is full of water, and then we drop an open glass tube in that water, water clings to glass so well that we would actually see the water in the beaker travel up the glass tube. This is actually a great model for showing how water and the nutrients water can carry within it are transported to the top of a plant against the force of gravity. Cohesive and adhesive properties are absolutely essential for life. Because of these properties, organisms have fluid transport mechanisms, which is not only important for the movement of water, right? But it's also important for everything that water moves with it, such as our nutrients, vitamins, vital blood plasma, for example. Without this flow, your body's cells would not rehydrate. The communication between your brain and your body would basically slow to a halt, and plants would not have a means for transporting water to the rest of their body from their roots, as just a few examples. So now let's have a very brief check-in, seeing if we understand cohesion versus adhesion, okay? So this is number 17, so be careful that you're looking at number 17. Is this example of water droplet sticking to this stem an example of cohesion or adhesion? And number 18 is the formation of the water droplets. So looking at the droplets specifically, is the formation of the water droplets we see here due to cohesion or adhesion? All right, so now let's move on from how hydrogen bonds help water stick to things to discussing how the hydrogen bonds in water help maintain temperature homeostasis. 